has done in your life of what God, and you want to share it because to the glory of God, every testimony is to the glory of God. Please don't hesitate. Put it on the chat. There's somebody who is waiting um, to receive your text, your text messages um, on the chat on Zoom or put it on the chat on YouTube. Somebody is ready to pick up your testimony for it to be read on the next service. Praise God. So if you have a testimony, don't let this day pass you by. Testify for what the Lord is doing. Somebody is waiting to hear that God is able to deliver like he has delivered you. Amen and amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 Let's go straight to the word. Father, we thank you, Holy Spirit. You are already here. You are ready to teach us your ways, God. You are going to show us. You're going to unravel ways by which we can be successful this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Teach us your ways, oh God. Order our steps this year. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. How to have a successful year. Praise God. Pastor already took us through two points already how would this year you can change the direction of your life and be successful you can rewrite your story and be successful this year it doesn't matter how things have looked like in the past you might have had challenges in the past but as a result of the word of god the bible says the word of god gives life praise god the word of god is coming to us today to give us life to give us direction the bible says your word oh god is the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path no matter how dark your path looks tonight something is going to change because you'll have an encounter with the word of God. The word of God will direct your path. The word of God will challenge you. The word of God will rebuke you. The word of God will order your steps tonight. Amen. We cannot do without the word of God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. If we just Amen. recap, pastor taught us in the last um, um, few sessions on the first thing that we need to consider, if we want to successful this year the first thing pastor taught us was uh, matthew 6 33 which says seek first the kingdom of god and its righteousness and all other things shall be added to you praise god this Amen. year is the year of seeking the Lord. You have come on this platform because you are seeking the Lord. You have come into this platform because you believe God has a word for you to direct your path. Mm -hmm. So this year, one thing that needs to separate you from the rest of, of, of everyone else is to seek first the kingdom of God. Seek God first in everything you do, in every decision you do. Ask yourself this question. Is God in this decision that I'm about to make? Is God in this idea that I have? Is God in these actions that I'm, I'm about to take? Is God going to be glorified by the steps that I'm going to take in my life as a result of what I'm about to do? Ask yourself that question throughout the year. Am I seeking first the kingdom of God? Who do I put first in my life? What do I think about first thing when I wake up in the morning? Because that is what will give you an idea as to who is taking priority in your life. Make God your priority this year and everything else you are believing God for will fall into place. Praise God. Make God your first priority. We have 24 hours in a day. Out of the 24 hours that we have, how much time do we give to the one that we have ascribed as our Lord and our Savior, as our Master, as our King of Kings, as our Lord of Lords? You find that in 24 hours, most of us are in our workplaces. In 24 hours, um, you are probably eight of those hours, if you have a good eight hours sleep, you are sleeping. Therefore, it takes some of the hours away. Therefore, in your waking up life, um, what is the amount of time you spend with God? That is a question you need to ask yourself. Am I seeking first the kingdom of God in all its righteousness or am I seeking my own? kingdom because there is a possibility that every part of our waking up life we are not seeking god's kingdom we are seeking our own kingdom we are seeking on how we can make ourselves richer and richer how we can make ourselves um 
more prosperous, how we can make ourselves more healthier and healthier and neglecting the weightier things, which is seeking after the kingdom of God. So pastor told us that you cannot put God first in your agenda and God will put you last. You cannot put God first and God puts you last. Praise God. Amen. So God must be first in your waking up life. God must be first. God must be first during the day. In the decisions that we take, God must be first. Ask yourself, if you are just about to sin and you're about to be led into to, to do something wrong, ask yourself this question. Am I putting God first in this thing or am I putting my own agendas, my own feelings, my own desires um, as a priority. So God, pastor taught us that, yes, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things we are chasing after, all these things we are running after. I tell you, if you wake up in the morning and you are running to work, you are chasing after something. I'm sure we all know what it is. At the end of the month, there is a paycheck, right? So if we are chasing after God at the end of the day, at the end of, of the week, at the end of the month, there will be a paycheck from God. And who knows which one is better, the worldly pay paycheck or the godly paycheck, praise God. I mean, I choose the godly paycheck because God can bless us beyond our wildest dreams. What we do in God to, to spend time with you, with him, nothing can compare to what we do to spend time in our workplaces. So let's put God first and he will be exalted, praise God. So number one, the thing that you need to really consider this year is seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all the other things shall be added unto us, amen. Amen. Praise God. amen. And number two, what did pastor teach us that we need to love God this year? Amen. Praise mm. God. We need to love God with all our heart, with all our mind, and with all our soul. Love God everything that is within us praise god you must love him and make him you must be inseparable you and god must be inseparable you must desire to be in the presence of god all the days of your life love god love serving god love being in his presence love serving god through serving others and serving god through them love what god loves love souls amen praise god mm -hmm. if you love god and you don't invite anybody to church we must really check ourselves do we really love him do we really love god that much that he, what he did for us we want him to do for others because when we love god we care about what concerns God. Amen. So we must mm -hmm. love the Lord with all our heart, with all our mind, and with all our soul. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But we cannot mm -hmm. love God just on the physical. The Bible tells us in John 4, 24, that God is spirit. Amen. And they mm -hmm. that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Praise God. So the spirit of God is the one that longs for this desire, to longs to connect with God. The flesh profits nothing. The flesh will tell you, oh, forget about God. God knows you love him. Oh, forget about God. God knows that you really go to church. Of course you love him because you go to church, but it should go beyond going to church. It's what we do in our private life, praise God, that matters the most. That shows God that we love him. When we love him, we care about those things that he cares about. God cares about souls. How much do we care about souls? Amen. Praise God. Yeah. If we're going to be successful, it comes through kingdom connections. You connect with the heart of God. And when you connect with the heart of God, God loves souls. You are looking out for souls everywhere you are. You are looking out for souls because you know that, you know, in God, when I connect with God and connect with the kingdom of God, I connect with the core heart of God. Amen. So this, this year, Let's connect with the heart of God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So the third point, we're going to look at how, how to be successful this year, how to have a successful year. We know when we love God, we connect with God. So the third thing is you must have a vision for yourself. Have a vision. Praise God. Have a vision of how you want this year to turn out. Have a vision of how you want your family this year 
the end results to be. Have a vision of how you see your spiritual walk with God this year. Have a vision of how you want to run your finances this year. Have a vision if you have a business, have a vision of how what you're expecting from your business this year. You can't live a day just waking up, going to work, come back, work, 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 and work without no vision. Amen. Praise God. Right. You cannot aim at nothing because if you aim at nothing, you will hit nothing. Praise God. So the Bible says in the book of um, Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 18, where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Amen. 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 When there is no vision, people perish. Nearly January is over already. We are in the first month of the year, and we are on the 27th day of this year already. The year has started. Most of us started by writing our vision probably for this year, and we haven't even moved an inch on what we've written in our vision for the year still, yet we are approaching the end of January. So what will make a difference that will move us from being um, uh, believers who believe in God, and yes, we believe in him, we have faith in him, but we can end up not having a successful year because we have not written the vision, praise God. The Bible says um, in the book of Habakkuk, chapter two, verse two, then the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain on the tablets that he may run, he who reads it. Amen. Amen. Write it plain. Write the vision down. What do you want to see in your workplace this year? If you are a manager in your workplace, what do you want to achieve? If you are working in a place, in a job, you are employed, you earn 30,000 pounds per annum, um, is your vision going to be 30,000 pounds per annum, the same you've been earning um, for the last 10 years? Or what is it going to change? You can go through this year earning 30,000 pounds again till the end of the year, and you can be happy with that. But we know that God is a progressive God. Our God wants you to grow from one strength to another strength. He is not a, a God who is just, you know, standing still. He's always moving. He's always moving his people to the next level. He's a God of promotion. He's a God who blesses beyond measure. He's a God who directs our path. He's a God who wants nothing but the best. He says to us in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plans that I have for you. They are of good and not of evil, to bring you to a desired end. Amen. Praise God. Amen. There is a desired end for you for this year. But how are you going to get from point A to point B? By point B will be the 31st of December 2022. How are you going to achieve the things you desire in your heart if you don't write the vision and make it plain so that he, when you see it, you will run with it? The world knows that, um, the world says that out of sight, out of mind. Have you heard that saying before? Out of sight, out of mind. When you don't see your vision, you are running aimlessly. When the vision is not clear, you haven't typed it out. You haven't documented it in your tablet, in your phone, in your, you've printed it out. You've put it in your house. You see that God in spiritual walk with you this year. I want to wake up in the morning and have a personal devotion with you for 30 minutes, sit with you with the word, worship you and start my day in prayer. I want to be able to fast during the prophetic encounter for the three days that we have. I want to join the church as we fast and I wait upon you in fasting and in prayer. Besides that, I want to have my own personal time of prayer and fasting once a month and de a day dedicated to fasting and seeking after the kingdom. This year, I want to read this book and this book of the Bible and finish it. You've made the vision clear. It's on paper. In your finances, what is your vision? 
You write it down, write the vision, make it plain. He who sees it, probably this year, your business ten, your turnover last year was probably 20,000 pounds. Um, this year, as a businessman or businesswoman, you want to God to bless your business, but you don't even know how much turnover you made last year. Write the vision. Where are you now? If, if you've been blessed with 20,000 pounds in your business and you want to take your business to, to 50,000 pounds this year, write the vision. What are you going to do differently to attract your customers, to bring in you know, the resources to move you from 20K to 50K? Praise God. Amen. In your soul winning as a believer, you start with nothing. You have no soul on your account this year because we all have an account. We will all account for the souls that we bring to Christ. You have a zero account this year. There is no soul you've brought to church this year. God, what am I going to do to move me from zero souls that have come into church because I've invited them and I've natured them to grow in the things of God to the end of the year? Am I going to have zero be, zero harvest of souls this year write the vision father this year give me 10 souls give me 12 souls give me one soul every month that i can i can go out and evangelize and bring them to church next month february i bring one in march i bring one by the end of december i would have brought 12 souls to jesus christ this year are you being fruitful are you being successful yes you are being successful Praise God. So God says, write the vision. Don't say this year, I have no business. But by the end of the year, I want to be a billionaire. Because those things don't match. You don't have a plan. You are starting at zero and you want to be a billionaire. But there is no strategy. There is no plan. There is You haven't prayed about you know, the vision that you have. You haven't presented it to God in prayer. You haven't sought the face of God. You haven't asked God to bless what you've written. There is nothing for God to bless. If you have not written a vision, there is nothing for God to work with. Amen. Amen. If there is no vision, there is nothing for God to work with this year. So we need to write the vision. Say, Father, I have a spiritual vision. I have my, my, my marriage. This is the vision for my, for my marriage. I want God to increase. I want to take my wife out. I want, to take my, I want to take my children out. I want to spend quality time with my family. Maybe in a month, I know you are busy, but I'm going to make time, you know, for probably four days a month that I can have real quality time with my family bond together. Yes, the in and out every day is fine, but God wants unified families. Spend time with your family. There must be a vision. How many times are you going to do it? Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Write the vision. If you say, oh, this year, yes, I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm going to be a billionaire this year. And there is no vision for God to work with. You have not presented any vision before God to say, God, this is the vision I have this year. This is how I am planning that maybe I can do things. The Holy Spirit is so real. He will give you guidelines. He will give you the strategies on how you can move yourself from a place of, of zero to a place where you are achieving things. This is why the world has come up when you're setting objectives in your workplace, they give you a plan. They said you must make your objectives um, smart. Um, S stands for, for, for your vision must be specific. Praise God. It must be specific. M stands for it must be measurable. Um, A stands for it must be achievable. R stands for it must be realistic. Your, your vision must be realistic. Is, is it a realistic vision? Are you, are you able to, to, to see it that, you know, and T is for time bound, is for time bound. You need to set a vision, say, God, by the end of the first quarter of this year, uh, I would love to have achieved this and this and this. I present this vision before you so that be, by the end of, of, of this quarter of the year, I would have at least invited three souls to church. How about that, God? Can you help me to do it? How about that, that to this month before 
January ends, I must win one soul for you. In, in February, I must win one soul for you and establish them in church. In March, I must win one soul and establish them in church. And that's how God will bless the vision. So this year, for us to be successful believers, we must write the vision and make it plain. He who sees it will run with it. Without the understanding of your vision, your vision is meaningless. There's a scripture in the book of 1 Corinthians which says, you know, when, when you, are, you are a boxer and you are, you are beating the air, you are, you are punching aimlessly, it's an, it's an effortless, it's, it's, it's not going to produce fruit. Amen. Don't Amen. be the one who beats the air this year. <laughs> that, oh God, every time we come, we pray for the vision that God's people have. We pray for the, God to bless God's people. But then you have no vision. You wake up in the morning, um, you eat your breakfast, you, you, you go to work, you come back, um, you watch a little bit of TV, you go to bed, back to bed. There's nothing you know, there's no vision. You're waking up aimlessly. This year, our prayer is that we will not be aimless this year. We will be believers who are going to be successful in the endeavors that God has blessed us with. We are going out there into the world um, to reach out for the souls because this is our aim. This is our purpose. Why God brought us into the kingdom. Amen. He brought mm-hmm. us into his marvelous light so that we can be the light to the world. Amen. We can be the light to the world. If you are being successful and the people around you see that something has changed, you are achieving your goals, your goals are measurable and you are beating every measure. You know, we can see that you are taking the word, mixing it with faith, and you are doing God's word. Amen. Praise God. Take the word. the word. Mix it with faith. What does that mean? You've had the word. Write the vision. He who sees it will run for you. It will run with the vision. Because your vision, if you achieve one thing on your vision, you will be motivated to go for the next thing. You can see that God is already doing it. In your business, measure yourself. In your workplace, measure yourself. In your spiritual walk, measure yourself. The Bible says, take a tape measure in the beginning of the year. Measure where you are. Measure where you are in this January. Take the same tape measure probably in March and measure. You will see that if you've written the vision, you've already moved a few notches up and God is doing mighty things in your life in the name of Jesus. This will be your story this year. Do you understand your vision? What is your vision? Make it plain. Sit with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our helper. He's our ever help. Amen. Praise God. When you don't know what you want to write about this, he asked the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, this is my vision. I don't know how we can achieve it. Together with the Holy Spirit, pray over it, write it down before you know it. Say, Holy Spirit, By the end of this year, it's my desire, it's my heart desire that I will serve in my church with everything that is within me. I will reach out, I will do personal evangelism myself, go out there, reach out the lost. Whether the church is calling evangelism or not, I have 12 souls to win this year. I challenge you all that this year, let's make it our vision. Let's make it our vision to win, to depopulate the kingdom of darkness and populate heaven. Amen. Praise God. Make that vision. Be part of your vision. If you haven't got a spiritual vision, I've just added to you. Praise God. When we win souls and depopulate the kingdom of darkness and win others to the saving knowledge of Christ, we are doing God's will in the name of Jesus. I pray for you tonight that everyone under the sound of my voice, if you have a vision of where you want to be this year, we have had three things already. You must seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. And all these things we are chasing after will be added unto us. The blessings will be added. Everything we are chasing after, the houses, the cars, whatever the the business grows will be added to us. Let's seek first the kingdom. Let's love God with all our hearts, with all our mind, and with all our soul. Amen. And then let's rise the vision and make it plain in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray over everyone here tonight, oh God, that you'll breathe upon us. Holy Spirit, you are our helper. 
Even as we begin to write the vision, as we begin to write the begin to write all these visions you are giving us of the things that are in store for us for this year. Holy Spirit, quicken our steps. Even as we see it and we are running, quicken our steps to overtake like the chariots of Ahab. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory as we write the vision. We thank you that every vision will become a, a tangibility. We will see the manifestation at the right time. Your vision will surely come come to pass over our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray over every idea, over every vision, over every idea you are dropping into the hearts of so God, even as I speak, you are dropping ideas, Holy Spirit. You are dropping ideas on how they can take their spiritual walk with you to the next level. Holy Spirit, be our helper. Oh, help us, Lord, to take our, our, our workplaces to the next level, our businesses to the next level, our vision for our families to the next level, our financial visions to the next level, our spiritual walk with you to the next level. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise, we give you all the glory manifest yourself in our lives this year in jesus mighty name and the saints say amen, amen. in amen. jesus mighty name and the saints say amen. Amen. amen amen and amen i hope you received it today amen praise god amen. go and manifest that vision let that 